Y'all thought I should have joined the army. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Let's get to the video, man. Two of the hottest rappers coming out of Atlanta are now in big legal trouble. Hey, y'all, I had to delete this part of the music because they were playing um, Young Gun and Thug's uh, song. And it's a slap, but <laughs> they would have copyrighted me. So massive gang and racketeering sting out of Georgia. Authorities say they believe the two are associated with the Atlanta-based YSL gang, and they're accused of conspiring to violate the state's RICO Act. Hello, well, guys, boy, Bill I'm back with another one for y'all, man. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Young Thug situation because I told you guys last year, or sometime this year, that in this uh, my channel, I'm gonna be talking about more than just military stuff because I live a life outside of the military, so I'm gonna inf infiltrate or uh, put some of that stuff inside of my videos. I'm gonna try to do these things without scripts, man. I'm always scripting stuff, but I ain't gonna do no scripts today. I'm just chilling. It's Sunday. I got some time. I got some stuff to do. So. Unless you guys been under a rock for the last, like, nine, I don't know, five to nine days or something like that, right? You've heard about the Young Thug charges. Um, I'm a big hip-hop fan, if you guys didn't know. Young Thug is one of my favorite rappers. Um, it's unfortunate, the situation that he's in right now. But this should serve as, like, a lesson for you guys. Uh, some of you up-and-coming uh, musicians or some of you people trying to do stuff in the streets. It should serve as a lesson. They, even though you try to get out of the street, some of that stuff going to follow you. Um, if you look at some of the, what's on the screen right now, you can see he's been indicted. I'm going to read some of the stuff they, they're going to charge him with. Uh, Fulton County prosecutors published an 88-count indictment against Young Thug, Gunner, and 26 others. They believe are part of a criminal street gang called Young Slime Life, YSL, on Monday, May 9th. Charges include conspiring to violate the racketeer. Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, also known as RICO, murder, armed robbery, and a participation in a criminal street uh, gang activity. So the RICO, if y'all don't know what that is, that's pretty much what they got the, the mob with. When they couldn't let nothing stick, all of the violence and the murders and the, the drugging, drug uh, drug stuff they was trying to get them on, they couldn't get them on it, so they got them for having a criminal organization, right? The funny thing about the Young Thug case that kind of kind of irks me a little bit is that they are trying to use his lyrics as a part of evidence in the case, which I don't totally agree with. But I, after reading some of the lyrics, I could kind of see why they would be wanting to use those lyrics. Let me read you guys some of these lyrics. Y'all tell me what y'all think about some of these lyrics in the comments, and if if these lyrics might might be the the end for, for Thugger Thugger. All right. So. They took some lyrics from, looks like, uh, also Gunna. Gunna went down with him, too. Shout out to Gunna. I like his, I like his new album. It's hard. Let's see these. So let's read some of these lyrics. So they got a song. Young Theory got a song, song song called You. I don't think I heard you. I don't think I heard this one before. E-W-W. -W. And the lyrics say, red just like Elmo, Elmo but I never effing giggle. YSL won't fold, pick his ASS up off the balcony. YSL wipe a N-word nose for the cash then getting robbed by Tick and a Bentley on the Wesley getting trailed by a sniper. All I ever wanted was the money. Put your hands in the air if you dare. Any N-words to step over here, F and N put them in a wheelchair. Like, I'm going to read another, I'm going to read some more lyrics from this this uh, song called, I'm going to see if it's a song on here that I actually heard before. Okay, I heard this one, anybody. I think this one, this is the one with Nicki Minaj on it. I never killed anybody, but I got something to do with that body. I told them to shoot a hundred rounds ready for war like I'm Russia. I get all type of cash, I'm a general. I can see how they can use that as him being a leader of a criminal organization by saying he a general. A general is the head of whatever organization. If if you comparing it to military, a general would be the top the top guy. So let me see. Bad boy. I, I don't think I ever heard that one. Take it to trial is a slap. It's like take that take the trial. That one. It say for slimes you know I kill. Trial I done beat it twice. State I'm a, I'm undefeated like feds came and snatched me. I don't know no point in asking. I was on Bleveland, stuck like a magnet. MF for shoot, 
at your mammy need to stand down. I'm up my stamina. Take it to trial. Get an appeal. Take it to trial. Yeah, you're going to whack him. Pay for that casket. That's just if he we whack him. My young hitters pulling up. Bentley's, Ashton Martins, Rarys, and Teslas. Fam, it, this dude. And the thing is, man, I hate the fact that they try to use these lyrics against him. But, Thugga, man, you pretty much snitching on yourself in this in some of these lyrics, if, if I'm being honest. And I, I don't I don't know much about the legal system, but I don't think they can actually use these lyrics to like condemn them. I don't know, but I, I always thought it was interesting that uh rappers when I was growing up, rappers would rap about this type of stuff and you believed them, but you really it wasn't really nothing nobody could show you that. So like if uh, uh it wasn't I I never like really was scared, oh this rapper's really doing this until uh fifty cent came out. And I was like, oh yeah, Fifty Cent, he he's really about that. But the other rappers, like like um, I don't know, Mason them and Diddy and even Biggie to some extent, Tupac, they wasn't really out here thugging like that. I don't think nobody really believed that. I saw something online. Somebody sent me. I don't remember who it was. Oh, my bad guys. I don't remember who it was, but I think it was Ice T, and he was saying like, it's easy for the streets to believe that you're a of a. a, a a thug, but it's hard for you to get the feds to believe that you're not. And it makes sense because th these young men made all of this music and it's got all, and I ain't gonna hold you, the music be slapping. Like, I probably listened to Young Thug yesterday in the gym. Like, the music, oh, I probably listened to this song. Uh, what is it? Slap. Where, where he where he cites that I killed his man in front of his mama, like little bro, sister, and his cousin. Damn, thugger. I shoot out, kill him, not leaving a trace. I had to break in a safe. Yeah, I didn't leave him no trace. Dissect your body like science class. Gangster, cause you got a body. Little magazine. Oh my God. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. This is hard though. But it's like, yeah, man. I, a life of crime just ain't the way to go, man. I I feel so bad for these guys. I, like they did it to themselves, but... I think it's more of like they take care of so many people. So those people got to suffer now because of the decisions y'all made. When y'all was up, like y'all was up like $20 million. Like young uh, Gunner's album came out. I think he sold more than like, um, he sold more than um, The Weeknd, this last album. So I don't understand why you still want to do street activities when you're a millionaire. All right. Um, I, I, just, I just don't get it. But, hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about Young Thug getting arrested in the comments. Y'all let me know. Is, is he getting out or is he going to stay in? Or is he going to do life? Is Gunner going to get out? I, it seems like Gunner wasn't doing nothing but just sitting around and he happened to be a part of the, the, the group. The YSL record label and got caught up with all of the gangster stuff that go along with that. So, hey, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.